Hello guys and welcome to Thailand Adventures with Dan. This is my introductory video. I'm currently sat at Grandfather's Garden. If you don't know where Grandfather's Garden is, you'll have to check out one of my videos. Uh, you'll find it in there and you get to see the whole place. It's very beautiful. I'm sat up in a tree house at the moment in rural Thailand, Isan Buridam. So guys, I don't want to drone on too much and bore you with my story. I've been living in Thailand now for just over five years, possibly about five and a half years. I live in rural Thailand, Buriram, which is in Isan, and it's basically the countryside of Thailand. Not in any of the holiday places or any of the islands or anything. When I first come over to Thailand, like many tourists, I moved to near Pattaya. I lived in a place called Bang Sare, which is in Chomburi. It's about a 25, 30 minute drive to Pattaya Beach Road. It was all very fun and exciting at first, you know, uh, going around Pattaya feeling like a, a king, everybody saying handsome man and, and like they do to everybody. Um, and I was enjoying it, going out to the bars and going out to the beach and it was a totally different way of life from where I'm from near Manchester in England. Very quickly guys, that all got very boring for me. I let, met a lot of like negative foreigners that had been living here for a long time that were very unhappy. Anything that come out of the mouth was pretty negative. You get bored of the attention. Um, so I decided after about six months that I was gonna move away from near Pattaya and try and find some place that I enjoyed a lot better, which was more suited to myself. So guys, I thought, yay, let's uh, try an island. Let's go and live on an island, the island life. I see all these videos on YouTube. It looks awesome, it looks great. It looks like they're, they're living the best life. So I thought, right, let's choose an island. So I chose Ko Chang and I went and I moved over there. Now, even quicker than Pattaya, that got boring fast. The amount of tourists that come over, um, all the time to the island and how expensive it was like because the prices go right up when you're on the islands um, and it, how do I explain this like it just wasn't wasn't for wasn't for me I mean you go to the beach every day yeah it's great but when you go to the beach every day the beach gets boring you jump in the sea the sea gets boring every day yeah the different hotels and stuff you know yeah, they get boring, you know, like anything does in life, too much of something is never a good thing. Yeah, if you notice in your own lives, guys, that when you have a little of something, it's amazing, it's great, you love it, it's a great experience, the memories that you'll cherish forever. But if you get too much of that, then it soon becomes like, mm, more like the norm, you know, and, and not as fun anymore. Anyway, guys, to fast forward a little bit, I tried Khao Yai, um, I tried uh, Chiang Mai, I tried up in Pai, Mei Hong Son, I uh, tried living there and it was all good for a little bit, etc. Just the same as Pattaya and Ko Chang, but I always found that it just, it wasn't really for me. Um, you know, I'm from the city really. Um, I've lived in the countryside as well, you know, but I do prefer the countryside kind of life. So guys, I decided to come round and fly over to Isan and check what this place was all about. Yeah, rice fields galore, uh, nature galore. So I come over here, uh, went to Royet, um, Udantane, um, went to Surin, Sisaket, Ubon and Atchitane, ventured around a lot of many different places. And I ended up coming to Buriram. And that was the place where I decided to stay for the last three years of my life. When I was in the UK, I did sales and marketing. I uh, did it since I was about 20 years old. I'm 39 years old now. And you're surrounded by absolute snakes, but the money's quite big. I mean, ever since I was about 21 years old, I had the ability to earn up to like a 1,000 pound a week just working for somebody, sitting in an office, relaxing all day, you know, working hard, maybe for one or two hours a day and earning that kind of money, which I thought was awesome and, you know, quite privileged to be able to have a job like that when I see all my friends and families struggling to earn like 300, 400 pound a week, sometimes 500 pound a week and they're struggling, they're doing hard jobs. You just think, wow, I can go to work with a shirt, a tie, a suit on and earn up to a thousand pound a week, win prizes, win cash incentives and yeah, it's great, but I'm surrounded by complete snakes because that's what it's like in sales and marketing. So like most people in sales and marketing, you get a bit greedy and you want to earn even more money. So I decided to start 
um, being a manager and managing other people's companies for them and making them more money and more profit and then I found that you didn't get the respect that was deserved yeah you got the paycheck but you didn't really get the respect that was deserved and I was having uh, I was sorry I was working for like for people that was coke addicts uh, horrible people like gangster type people and stuff and I just I just thought this isn't for me this isn't the type of lifestyle that I want I'm earning the money now I've been earning it for quite a few years I'm doing well but I'm still not happy so what can I do to change this so then it dawned on me why don't I just set my own business up so I decided to set my own sales and marketing company up and I did it for a few years and it was doing really well and I was earning a lot of money um, sometimes I was even clearing about £15,000 a week believe it or not which is a hell of a lot of money and, it, and now like I think wow I earned that kind of money back then you know but it still didn't make me happy I'm surrounded by snakes still I'm trying to do it the right way I'm trying to do it my way but I still not enjoying it there's something going on here there's something wrong so guys I don't know if you'd call it a midlife crisis or not you know call it whatever you want but I decided that it's time to make a change I've not been happy for a long time in my life in my relationship and my work in my business I need to do something to make a change because I could see that for the rest of my life, whether I live another 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, I don't think I'm going to be happy. So something needs to change. A friend of mine contacted me, said he's going to Thailand for two months. So I thought, right, yeah, that's the perfect opportunity. Let's jump on a plane to Thailand with him for two months. I've not been on a holiday for a long time. I'm not really a person that goes around traveling or anything. I stay in my own country for my own holidays normally used to get like a lodge and a hot tub and stuff in York in England um, and I'd do that for like a long weekend because I was always I've always worked since since I was uh, 20 years old really properly so yeah I ended up getting on a plane coming to Thailand and realizing that everything needed to end I needed to end my relationship I needed to end my business I needed to end my lifestyle I needed to end my ego I needed to end the people that I have in my life so I did. I went back to England and I quit everything. Everything, just quit it. Uh, quit my business, quit my relationship, quit a lot. Gave a lot of stuff to charity, left a lot of stuff behind, packed two suitcases and I was out of there within seven days, back on a plane, over to Thailand on a six month visa. So guys, to keep this brief, because I don't want it to be a long video, um, as soon as the six month visa ended, I decided to jump online, have a look at, at ways of being able to stay in Thailand. I found a company called Thailand Elite. Uh, they allow you to stay in Thailand for five years, 10 years or 25 years. So I bought the five year visa for 500,000 baht and I've been here ever since. Now guys, the reason why I made this YouTube channel is because I watch a lot of YouTube. I always have done ever since ever since YouTube began I've watched YouTube and I watch a lot of Thailand vloggers and I don't know how to say this in the most nicest way without sounding negative but the, a lot of them are full of crap absolutely full of crap um, they'll take you to a place they'll show you around they'll say everything's amazing and they'll never be honest to you now that's not everybody there's some okay ones there's so there's about three or four that I actually watch that are pretty honest they're pretty down to earth uh, very good at editing the videos and I enjoy watching them. So I decided to make a YouTube channel that was honest and real whether people liked it or not I've just got to be myself and hopefully people like obviously it's YouTube it's the internet not everybody's gonna like what I have to say some people will watch some people won't but that's the way it is so so far I've just been creating content uh, to actually fill up my channel and show you around rural Thailand, the places that I go to, what it's like, the recent one, Dinosaur Park. I've shown you grandfather's garden here. Um, I've took you around to a few different places. I'll start doing food places and stuff as well, but I'll start giving you honest reviews about uh, Thailand and Thai people and what to expect if you live here or you come here for a holiday.